this week, our focus is on workplace relationships and how to be successful in the workplace. The best way to maintain good relations in the workplace is to start off on the right foot. That is, make sure that you dress for success. You should have a clean, neat appearance. If your company has a uniform, make sure that that uniform is kept clean. And remember, the key to this, would you let you inside your home when you were not at home? In the HVAC industry, you never stop learning. Learning is something that you're going to do throughout your career. And you learn by going to industry meetings. You will learn by attending conferences. You can learn by watching YouTube. And keep in mind that your particular career field is always being updated with new technology. Over the years, we've learned that mechanics and technicians share the same set of traits. They're very focused. They're very well organized. And if you aren't very focused or well organized at this point, this is going to be something that you'll want to work on now while being in an internship and in the future. The other thing is, is there's mechanical skills. Now, all of us aren't born with the same ability to use a drill or to use a hammer or to uh, use a screwdriver or a nut driver, but these things will come with time. So practice makes perfect. As I mentioned, HVAC means lifetime learning. And that lifetime learning you're going to achieve by going to conferences, exhibitions, and also things like reading and YouTube. In the HVAC industry, you must have certain credentials in order to work. Here at Suffolk, you're given that opportunity to obtain that entry level certification, which is your EPA Section 608 Refrigerant Handling License. And I want to make sure that all of you, before completing your internship, have that universal certification, which you can learn by going to the EPA Learn module on Blackboard. For those of you needing that EPA certification, you're going to get that from the computer at the HVAC Excellence website called ESCO, ESCO. For those of you who will be working outside Suffolk County, just be aware that you will be required to take their individual municipality licensing, especially in New York City. Uh, the New York Fire Department has uh, multiple licenses and certifications that you'll need in order to use a, for example, a torch. So you have to check with the towns you're working in if there's any additional licensing requirements. Thank you for your time. Please take the quiz that's coming up next.